All right, sweet. What super cool badass Digimon are we gonna go around with this time? Do 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 do. Uh oh. Ah, shit. <laughs> I am Ace Space of Win, and welcome back to part 22 of the Digimon World playthrough. Oh, how the matter you fallen, you're probably thinking. See me walking around with the poop flinging crap fest that is Numamon. He's, of course, one of the worst Digivolutions in the game, along with Sukumon and Nanimon, which you get by failing every other champion requirement. But, whether you want to believe me or not, I have intentionally chosen this Digimon. Why, you ask? Because we're going to a new area in the game, and to do anything in the area, we need to bring a new one. Surprisingly, he's the only Digimon that can do help us in this area. Now, you might remember back in part 18, I think it is, the uh, smoke-addicted Cherrymon opened up a new area of the game. I said we weren't going to go there, but now we're going to. Yep, still smoking, see, it's all around us. Get the patch. So anyway, welcome to Lego, La uh, I mean Toy Town. Yep, not uh, that other copyrighted place. And despite its stuffed animals and uh, robot, tin robots, it's got a very um, sinister soundtrack. What the hell's going on? To get started in Toy Town, we need to go to the costume house. Looks very soft and plushy in here. Hey, look at that, it's Monzy Mon. I wonder when he would show up in the game. Oh, it's just a costume. Bit creepy, if you ask me. Can we put the costume on? Oh, shit. To be honest, I think it would have looked better on uh, the trainer. That would have been funner. Yeah, so every time you come in here, that costume will fall off and your Digimon will attempt to wear it. Unfortunately, the only Digimon that can wear it is a Numamon. And, by doing so, he officially evolves into the Monzimon. This is the only time in the game it actually gives you an ultimate, free. Well, he doesn't look, look, exactly look sinister, I'd certainly prefer him over the crap Digimon. See, look, even the train is happy. Not only is he an ultimate now, his stats have actually increased. He's not like it's not like a Digivolution item where it just looks like the Digimon. The stats actually increase like a proper ultimate. And not to mention he's six days old, so imagine the potential training we can get with a like with a twenty day year old ultimate available. And most importantly, we can give him a better move set. I decided to give him actually the exact same moves as a. Uh, the now deceased Agroff, may you rest in peace. So, once we've gotten our cuddly toy of doom, our next part of business is in the tin house. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, couldn't resist with the face outside. Ooh, a robot. Come at Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Monzimon, uh, no mate, I think you'll find this is Agroff. They are totally different. Wait, whoa, whoa, this is a bit too much all of a sudden. Whoa, Monzimon, do what now? Calm down. It's Agroff, damn it, Agroff. Well, yeah, he is technically a Monzimon. Ah, the old hero routine. So apparently, whoa, Monzimon's stolen this guy's mates, and being heroes, it's our job to, you guessed it, Save the day. So he's just unlocked the mansion, that big building outside. So we can go save him. Oh, time for some bear on bear action. Well, let me tell you, Warrior one's definitely not an opponent to take lightly. It's no wonder we've got a bloody ultimate to come and do the job. In fact, I'm going to go train for a few days. I'm going to stop the recording, train up Monzy one so he can take on an ultimate. And I'll start the recording again. See you then. We make a good team, the end. Ah, welcome back. 
uh, after a few game days of training, I have certainly boosted up uh, our stats now. I think it's fair to say this is probably the best Digimon we've had in the playthrough yet. And with these quite impressive stats, I think it's fair to say we can finally go and try and take on Woru Monzuan. But before we even get to him, we've got to take on three floors of the Toy Mansion. First up is the evil Duplo of Doom. Seriously, look at these Toy Agumon. I can't believe Lego is not suing them for copyright infringement. <laughs> Gotta say, I wonder who the hell came up with that idea. That's ingenious. Next up is Living Tanks. Actually, it's kind of weird. A, a military tank in a toy mansion. Or should I just call it Duplo Mansion? That's what it basically is. Well, toy tanks, I guess, but you know what I mean. This would be more fitting for a factorial town. Gotta love Megalo Spark still doing its job, even in this new generation of Digimon. These are actually some pretty tough uh, Digimon to go up against. I think they know Buster Dive, Red Inferno, but nothing our new Ultimate can't handle. I've got to say, the, uh, what I hate about this floor most is these guys are so unavoidable to get past. Okay, well, now we've got him taken care of. Yeah, run away, dick. Let's try going through these doors. Ah, you see here, if you pick the wrong door, you get hit by the, what appears to be a metal pan, and you lose some health. But it's trying to whittle you down before the last boss. Okay, folks, uh, watch this glitch here. Watch this. Start oh, but the battle hasn't started. What the hell? Totally got away with that. And God, clear Agumon. A pallet swap for a pallet swap. Now, that's sad. Evil bear. Could he possibly be in this room? Hmm, two boxes. Oh, I love presents. Maybe. And the correct answer to pick it is the small box. Jesus Christ! That bear hasn't been washed in a while. Yep, this is War Room Monzimon. Certainly looked a lot more threatening than his good counter cousin. And he's a bit of a dick. He's quite confident in himself. Like that'll help him against us and our teddy bear of doom. Give us back that guy's mate, or else you'll be sorry. Yes, instead of talking about things, let's beat the crap out of each other to prove our superiority. Time to engage in epic combat. It's business a go go, baby. Oh boy, though, this is not an easy fight. This is certainly the point in the playthrough where we're going to be taking on a lot more difficult opponents. And I don't just mean in the HP. They really are take, taking the name Ultimate very seriously. Especially in the case of War Room Monzimon. He's got some deadly attacks. First he likes using Muscle Charge to boost up his attack power. Then as you just saw there, that was busted out. Oh, Thunder Justice! Jesus Christ, did you see that? 1,500 in one fucking move. Thunder Justice is an awesome move though, I've got to say. I was kind of, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't learn it from him. It's a brilliant move. I think it's the most powerful electric move actually. And Buster Dive is no move to get hit by either, so... But of course, against us, there is no winner. Your corpse shall litter the battlefield. Give us back that dude's mate. <laughs> Damn right you're losing. What the hell? Oh my god, it's a trap! Douche! Do you want me to beat the crap out of you again? Give it up. What the hell? A gear? Well, he is a robot, I guess. If he is, I mean, he doesn't. He shouldn't have any emotions anyway. He shouldn't have mates. I guess it's not unlikely he would be a friend of uh, gear. Oh God, these, these toys are stupid. Du -du -du -du. Okay, 
join me in part 23 when we return this guy's friend to the Tin Mon. Till next time.